Reed Hoffman, who was backing Jean Carroll in her legal case, he's out with Nikki Haley. A new report saying, you know what, Reed Hoffman is not going to be donating any more money to Nikki Haley because she hasn't really performed as they would have thought. Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking. I'm just saying this. Like, I really don't know what any of these people are thinking. I mean, I know a lot of you like DeSantis, et cetera. But you're going to run to the right of Trump? Or, or Nikki, in her case, I guess she's running significantly to the left of him. I've joked that she ought to take Joe Biden's spot. I mean, she often sounds like a Democrat. But then again, it makes sense because you've got Reed Hoffman, a big-time Democrat, giving her money actually gave her $250,000. That was his donation to her super PAC. And, you know, he apparently contributed. Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Apparently, according to this article, he had contributed $1.7 million to GOP campaigns over three cycles. So uh, perhaps perhaps he's uh, playing all sides. I, I thought he was a Democrat, but that's interesting. The $1.7 million to GOP campaigns. I will say this. He's not a guy who likes Trump in any way, shape, or form. So one of the reasons he's given money to her is to keep her in the game. I keep saying, like, how does she stay in the game? She brags that she ran a really tight ship, and so they still have money, et cetera. But, I mean, that must have been one tight ship. Let me just say, she's going to go down to South Carolina, where, I'm sorry, she's probably going to get kind of humiliated, if you would, because it's her home state. So she's not going to win that. So what is the path? Is the path... Let me throw this out there. Is the past simply that she's hoping that he's going to wind up in jail and not able to accept the nomination? And therefore, she swoops in and says, ah, I'm here. I'm, I'm your girl. I mean, that'll really rally Republicans to the polls, right? I mean, come on. I don't think that scenario works. And by the way, I'm pretty sure that you could still run from prison and you look at all the exit polls and people are like, yeah, I don't care. Even if he's convicted of a crime, I don't care. I'm still voting for him. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. What does that say? It says that he stands out from the pack in a pretty meaningful way because he strikes a chord with people that, well, the likes of Nikki Haley simply can't or Ron DeSantis for that matter. But as Trump talks about how they're coming after him and they could come after you, he also points that out with Nikki Haley. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to this sound in just a moment. This is him the other night in Nashville, New Hampshire. He's right. He's right in that, you know what? This is, this is kind of sort of crazy. And they're going after him left, right, and center. You think about the lack of stuff that's happened in terms of Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and what may or may not be there. We're still twiddling our thumbs, waiting around, despite what seems like a lot of evidence. I mean, can you imagine if the, if the tables were turned and Rachel Maddow and MSNBC had the chance to go after Biden, how much they would be doing on that one? And yet nothing. So they're going to keep going after him because they think that somehow they can use the law to their advantage for a political purpose, and that's kind of scary. And this is now their M.O. And Donald Trump's right when he points out to Nikki Haley, they'd do it to you too, in a heartbeat, if you were top dog. Watch. We didn't build hundreds of miles because if there's a board laying on the ground, they say that's a renovation. They call it a renovation. If there's two nails laying from 50 years ago, they say, oh, that was a renovation. These are very dishonest people, and you're always fighting them. And just a little note to Nikki. She's not going to win. She's not going to win. But if she did, she would be under investigation by those people in 15 minutes. And I could tell you five reasons why already. Not big reasons, mm -hmm. a little stuff that she doesn't want to talk about, but she will be under investigation within minutes. And, so and, and he's not wrong. You see, they have realized that this is their path. And if you just go after someone legally enough, then eventually you'll succeed.